So this is part two on uh, recabling the uh, 52XLR. This is an important step since we've removed the extension cylinder. Uh, that's part of what retains the main section. So we've placed the uh, a retainer on here. You could use a chain. We're using a come along. That way we can control uh, the extension and retraction on it. And then I'll uh, pick up again on this when we get inside. So now that we've pulled the extension cylinder, we've swung the uh, crane around off the back and uh, we put this come along in here, tied off, tied off to the main cylinder. We're in the process now of dropping the end basket off. But you do this because once the extension cylinder is out of there, that is what retains your main section. So without this here, it would slide forward and we can control the amount of extension on it. So our next step is going to be we'll remove the basket and uh, move forward from there. So what we've done here is we've unbolted the eight bolts that retain the uh, the basket. You'll notice we did not disconnect the hydraulic lines or the uh, 12 lead that runs up into the controls. Uh, we just did this so we can kind of slide this out of the way. It's hooked up on the hoist so we can get a little bit of room to get in here to remove the retraction cable. Let's see if I can get this cord out of the way and we can get a little better view. There it is right there. That is your retraction cable runs up through the middle of the crane. Next step is we're going to remove the uh, covers off the end. Uh, these are on here to prevent things from rolling down the tube when somebody's up in the basket working. Uh, neon standoffs, welding, uh, rod, anything like that. So now the cover's removed. We're removing the uh, side pad plates off of here. And then we'll also remove uh, the other cover. That'll be kind of the, some of the next steps. Okay, we've removed both of the side pads on both sides. Once those have been removed, uh, we have taken reduced some tension off the cable, uh, the uh, come along on the cable on the come along, and that's allowed this to slide forward, which will give us access to the two bolts here, as well as removing the grease cert uh, for the shiv that rides inside this tube. I'm not sure if you can see it very well, but. That is the sheave. It has an extension cable on both sides. There you can see the other one. The step after that, once that's done, is to remove the two jam nuts on the back side. And you'll loosen the extension cable okay so we have backed the uh, bolts all the way off on both sides <clears throat> you can see that you can kind of see down the middle of the tube but so you've reduced the tension on these and they're loose on both sides so then our next step, uh, we're going to go pull the shivs back down the front. So we've already removed the grease cert. We're pulling the two bolts that retain the, uh, the sheave back in here. Once that's done, then we'll move back to the back of the uh, crane. And we'll remove the extension cable bolts 
unscrew the jam nut that's on the back side. So now that that cable has been loosened up, she rolls out. And that is the other end of the extension cable. And we'll repeat that process on the opposite side. There it is.